Hello, this is Nancy, and thank you for coming back to Nan's Next Knots. I don't really have any crocheting to show you this week because I've been working on face masks. But I do have some Happy Mail that I want to share with you, and I've actually had it for, oh, probably, well, a week, or I would have showed it last week. Um, I got a card from Dorcas. And she is in Indiana. And it's a thank you card. Now she is participating in my crochet along. And um, she received one of my stitch markers. You're welcome, Dorcas, and thank you for the card. That's special. It really means a lot when someone takes the time and they're thinking of you and they send you a card. That's very nice. Makes your heart feel nice and warm, and we all need that at this time. Um, I also received another card, and this one is from Linnell, and she is in Ohio. Now, this is a handmade card, and it has kind of a patchwork quilt-type looking flower on it, and her name right here. And she sent me, she's thanking me for the stitch marker I sent her. And she's sent me a stitch marker that she made. It has a lobster claw on it. With very, very, very fine thread. Thank you, Linnell. Thank you so much. Kind of like a little flower. Thank you. So, like I said, I've been making um, face masks. And it's, I've come to find out it's not an easy process. Uh, you know, crochet, you get your yarn, your hook, figure out what you're going to make, maybe find a pattern, and you're on your way. <laughs> With face masks, you got to wash the material... Wash it, dry it, iron it, cut out the pattern, and that was quite a thing, getting a pattern. I made my own, that didn't work very well, so one of my journeys out, I had to go to Staples and print one that off that was in the internet. So I've probably made about 25 of these. They have a wire here, and they also have the pocket. So whatever you're putting in there for a filter, and there's no elastic to be found, so I have had to create my own straps using fabric. Now, my daughter works at in fast food. She did work at Wendy's, but she has now works at Jack in the Box. So she has co-workers from friends from Wendy's, of course, and now she has co-worker friends from Jack in the Box. So when she wears these, you know, they say, oh, yeah, I want one. Can your mom make me one? <laughs> this is a masculine one I made. And... This is flat here because it has the wire in it. And those, these straps are made out of shoelaces. So when I bought the shoelaces, uh, they only had three packs. And it turns out one pack is too small. Maybe a child. I might even be too small for that. But I didn't really know what I was doing at that time. I just knew I needed straps. And so there. <laughs> it's quite a process. So the wires, I've bent the ends of the wires so that they don't poke you, you know, poke you in the face or poke out of the material. So at least I have uh, kind of experience doing that from my beading and my stitch mark making. So, you know, that's another step of the process. So, you know, I thought, oh, I'm just going to whip, whip these out. You know, I got a brand new sewing machine. I'm kind of having to learn that. 
every time I change thread, my bobbin runs out. I can do the bobbin winder just fine, but then my tension is off, not gonna mess with it. And I think the last time I changed threads, it went real smoothly. But there's times that I, I had to like take out my bob bottom bobbin, clean all that out in there. And usually I'm finding that the, the problem is from the top tension. And so somehow when I'm threading it, most of the time, a lot of the time, I'm not getting it right. Um, so I'm having to learn my machine and I'm not that great of a sewer. I haven't sewed for 30 years. So and they have taken some time. Anyway, um, so I'm getting some mass out there. Not on a big, massive thing. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm working on. And as you can tell, I'm trying to be... I'm being creative. So, hope you're doing the same. Hope you're crocheting away. Staying healthy. Thank you for joining me today on Nan's Next Knots. Talk to you later.